Hey everyone, welcome back to Control. We're going to head up to the, what looks to be the main hall for this Frau Moro AWE. Now, I, I have no idea what this Frau Moro is, but the only thing I can think is that um, other AWEs have been named after the places they take place in. And I think it was Langston that said an AWE is basically... Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> So, <laughs> let's just face this way a moment whilst I, my brain absorbs what he's just witnessed. Um, yeah, I, so I was going to say that generally uh, Langston explained AWEs are basically just places where altered items and objects of power kind of flex their muscles, I guess. Um, so... We appear to have an Apollo era... Lunar Lander. <laughs> is Frau Morrow on the moon? Is... No, because the, the, the entire lander wouldn't be back here, would it? We'd just have the top compartment. This is confusing. Well, apparently Hartman's taken an interest anyway, so... Uh, I guess we'll shortly find out what the hell this thing is. Right, there's something flash... Oh, hello. Right, there's a... Is that a socket or a cell? That's a power cell over there. We do have a lit area over here, and there's some equipment outside. I'm not sure whether that... I don't think that's uh, backup equipment to call for a soldier. Yep. Yeah. Regular clockwork. Oh, great. It's turned it into the murky, misty shadows now. Wonderful stuff. Right, what have we got? There's a button here. I'm not sure what that's going to do, but we do have a door. What's <laughs> It definitely seems fond of that lander. We've got a mobile lab here. Uh, with a record. Okay. The Frau Moro summary. We might actually get some answers. AWE 7. Event date. 31st of January to the 9th of February 1971. The Frau... Oh, yeah. This is the moon. The Frau Moro formation on Luna. A paranatural entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point in the, of their voyage to the Fra Moro Highlands of the Moon. 32 hours after the return of Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. Redacted, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had... Oh, this is making sense now. Four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Oh, <laughs> stowaway. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. Note, an altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Redacted called to clarify the matter, but tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly, clearly with other federal agencies. So, I mean, that's interesting. We now know that NASA and the FBC have got a fairly good relationship. I, I wonder if it stemmed from that. So that explains... Well, that completely confirms that this guy's able to teleport through the darkness. Um, it was, uh, it was, um, oh, what's his name now? <laughs> what's, our na what's our obscure fellow in containment? I've completely forgotten his name. Langston. There we go. Took a while to come back to me. Langston had mentioned that um, he'd seen uh, some of the investigations team crew speaking to an empty spacesuit. I guess that explains that. Right, we've got one spotlight of light here. And I'm wondering if this might light up that area, perhaps? Or not. Oh! Right, it moves the gantry with the spotlight. I'm really... Uh... Okay. Ooh, let's check on top of here, just in case. No, there's no sockets around here at all. But we do have a power cell. I feel like I should be retrieving that thing. Is he going to get me the moment I try to get over there? Yeah, i got a horrible feeling he is. Oh, it's stuck. No, I can't get it anyway. It's stuck in darkness. Whoa. Oh, getting shooty now, are you? Filthy animal. Right. It's stuck in a big glob of darkness by the looks of it, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to use this mobile... Where are you? 
Oh, oh really? Okay, well that's got rid of the darkness anyway, I guess. Oh, poop, where's it going now? I feel like Mr. Q here. At least we can... At least we can try and fathom out its movement. Now, is that going to come back across? No, doesn't look like it. Will this summon it? Oh, I just noticed the post-it. Yeah, does a circuit by the looks of it. Is this going to pull it? Ooh. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Right, that has pulled it back to us. So I'm going to have to get ready to move as soon as I punch this button. At least I know where we're going this time. And the power cell's freed. A little bit further. Let's go. I see you over there looking at me. Right, I think there are obstacles this way as well, just to complicate matters. Oh no, it's alright, we can just nip the wall. Stay out the shadow of the wall. Ah yes, there are obstacles. Goody gumdrops. There are buttons here as well. Is this where it stops? It seems like it is where it stops. Right. I see a socket over there. I don't know, in all honesty, if I'm going to be able to uh, hit that from here. No, I don't think I am. Okay. Bad idea. So, we do have a couple of buttons. One there, one there. Is there anything else of interest? No. Uh, left turn, right turn. Oh, I wonder if this one sends it back over there. So, this one, I guess? Whoa. Uh, where are we going? Oh, no. We're <laughs> passing straight over the lander. Oh, don't like that. Okay. And then this way. I got this. We Whoa, hold on. That was a shelter there. Okay. Well, that was another power unit or something. Okay. That's brought us to a different mobile lab. Are you staying there? It is staying there. Good. Right. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Wrong button. Drop that. Oh. Right, well, this is perplexing. We've got a couple of different sockets that we can choose from here. Uh, is that... Right, that is another power cell, but it looks like that's caught up in darkness as well. But let's see. I could potentially throw this in either one. Let's throw it there and see what happens. Nice. Burnt the darkness off of there. That's something. Pull this one off and throw it in there. Uh, <laughs> did I do a bad? Should that have gone in there? Hold on. Can I? Can I? No, I got off. Never mind. No, no, stay over there, Hartman. Don't move on my account. Right, let's see what's in here. Got another file. I was really kind of hoping there might be another power cell, but okay. What have we got? Framoro Supplement, AWE7. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, under... Oh, so... Fra is... It, was it named after the location on the moon? I'm assuming that Fra Moro is a location on the moon. Underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. The entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material can be found at Redacted. Its physical form consists solely of the extravehicular mobility unit, space, oh, the EMU spacesuit by NASA astronauts, which explains why the other guys would walk into an empty spacesuit. The same model worn by the other crew. This could be an authentic EMU taken from any one of the NASA astronauts, though the suit does not bear any wearer's name, or one materialized through redacted conversion, or possibly redacted corporealization. The suit itself is slightly damaged, which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have a fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry. The EMU is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed, though this seems to agitate the entity. X-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown redacted shaped outlines existing within the suit. For safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. Right. Did it say in the first summary that Fra Moro is an actual uh, place on the moon? Yeah, Fra Moro Highlands of the moon. Okay. 
So they named the entity in the suit after the location. That's cute. I like that. So, um, I've kind of dropped my power cell over there. Let's see what this does. The sticky note was pointing forward and right. So I'm guessing it's not going to wait up for us. So I need to maneuver this thing pretty quickly. Okay, that's done what? Oh, oh no! Oh, that was too close. No, didn't like that. Ooh. Oh, it's brought us back here. Okay. So, in terms... Oh, hello, it's opened up a corridor by the looks of it, or illuminated a corridor at least. Let's get this thing... <laughs> You're about to have a bad time. Surprise! Oh, no! Uh-oh. I'm about to have a bad time. <laughs> right, let's follow this back to here, and I'll see if I can get into that corridor that's um, it's just been opened by the looks of it. Oh, it's a lift. Presumably going up into those uh, illuminated spaces up there. Right. Oh, hopefully a moment for a breather. No resistance here, please. Right, what have we got? Uh, equations, stuff. Oh, hello. This takes us through to the service decks, but it's locked off. Any files? ACU button. Don't you think that I don't? No, good. Okay. Right, so, no sticky note on this one. Lights? Yes! Oh. There. One less place for him to hide. Gerbil took the top head. <laughs> what? Hold on. Gerbil took the top head. Speak with the voice on the cell into... Ooh! Is that the suit? Where is this? It's in here somewhere. Oh, we've also... I believe we've got an objective in here as well. I think... I had a very brief scan... Uh, of the missions just before hitting record today, and I'm pretty sure that one of Artie's missions, I think it's Burning the Darkness. Yes, is in here. Excellent. So, um... Gerbil took the top head. <laughs> Absolutely no description. Good. I didn't want to know what I was doing anyway. So, service ducts are through here. Ooh. Goodness! That's going to take me... Oh, that's going to take me back through to the main investigations hall. But there is a lamp here. Who knows when that might come in. Oh, something that I meant to do as well. I've no idea if this is a thing. I meant to... Uh... I know that there were a number of rather large packing crates. No. Okay. No such luck. I'd wondered whether there might have been something hidden inside one of those crates that would be... Um... Would be good for us to... Uh to sample but no unfortunately no goodies to be found right we've shoot oh that one what was that one hold up uh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that right those can't be removed again what did that do did that just illuminate this area with a spotlight possibly okay so uh, we've got a lamp <laughs> stuck in the steps there. Good to know. Bear that in mind. So there's apparently a cell somewhere. Oh, oh, is this? We passed by yes, this. Hello. Yes, me. Worry who? See the sea. <gasps> Worry be yes who see the sea. Oh, that makes sense now. So that's got to be the suit, right? That's got to be Fra. Which also explains what that person was talking to on the uh, the voice recording by the turntable. Hello? Hello. Great about us today. Long roads and no hardly. <laughs> you are bygone? Uh, sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back in front. And <laughs> Gerbil took the top head. <laughs> Not being pressed for that. Lady going and loosing back for I? 
Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head. The head for tails. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay, okay. Take it oh. easy. I'll... Uh... I'll take a look. So Find what the prisoner maybe wants. It wants something to read. No, I think or it needs. Jar. I Let's think just see it, what we can find. I think it. Would you mind? Do you mind? I'm trying to say something out loud. I think it just wants its head back, and we know where its head residing, don't we? That is over in uh, Kirkland's old office. Right, excellent. Oh, <laughs> marvelous. When we do actually make it um, back out of this location and back into the main operation center, I'm going to head very quickly back to the sector head office. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go and grab that, bring it back for our um, our suited and booted friend here and see what he can make of it. Seems nice enough. Probably going to lull me into a false sense of security, but I mean, it seems friendly and harmless, right? <laughs> Okay, so, I think there's not an awful lot for us to explore around here. Surely there must be something near the lander itself. So, surely that's not the lander in question. <laughs> because that doesn't make sense, because the bottom part normally stays on the moon. I wonder if they just brought a replica, or, or perhaps an unused model, in to, well, I, I guess make it feel at home, try and sort of tease some reasoning out of it. But for now, let's continue through the service ducts. Oh, silly boy. I was meant to go and find the... I was meant to go and find the darkness, wasn't I? I wonder if there's some behind this terminal. So this is the darkness that Artie wants us to clear out. Let's grab our lamp. See if we can't track it down. Feels like there's more over here. And this is roughly where... Roughly where that objective was pointing. There's some inside? Nope. Uh, maybe there's some up there? Have I got to get... Have I got to get up high? I'm wondering if there's a way I can get on top of the gantry that was wheeling around. Can I get up on top? You are... Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Never mind. Try this way instead. Nope, can't get on top of there. Damn. Maybe I can jump off of a piece of the lander. Oh, here we go. That'll do. And then. No! Balls. Right, let's try this a little bit more carefully. Cool. Can I now... Is there a higher point than this to jump off from? I don't feel like there is. Can I now get on... Oh, oh. Maybe. No. Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> right, come on, Artie. Where's... There's gantries, there's steps and things up there. Right, let's just check the map. I need to track down this darkness that Artie's referencing. It's in here somewhere. Maybe it's not necessarily pointing to that corner, but it's definitely pointing to this room. Is there anywhere I haven't yet explored where darkness could be awaiting? I, mean, I suppose it could be in the holding cell, for all we know, which we're not going to get into until... Um, we help our headless friend. Yeah, I don't feel... I don't feel like this is anywhere we can easily access. Right, what I'm going to do... I will go back and carry on through the access corridors, the service vents. 
Yeah, let's leave this here for now. Head on back up to that office up there and see if we can't push back to um, Kirkland's office. Back into the service ducts. Whoa, hold on. Oh, did, really? Is that the darkness that it was referencing? I've thrown the bloody lamp away now. Not respawned back here, is it? Oh, crap. I'm going to have to go back and get it. <laughs> All right, one quick game of fetch later. Now, let's see if this is the one that Artie was referring to. Burn! Filth! Burn! All right, Artie. Was this what you had in mind? Right. Good. That's some of it. Now let's watch the bar top left. That did go up, so there's another one somewhere. Uh, checking it's not on the ceiling behind us. Wait, where is it? Drop that down there. Is the other darkness down here? I don't particularly want to leave without eliminating all of it. No, I'm thinking it must be... Oh, no. Ooh, good job I did turn around. Wonderful. Have that. Excellent. Right. We can now, hopefully, head back on through to the central corridor area. Oh, wait. Oh, excellent. <laughs> well, look at that. How very handy. That's landed us where? Active investigations. Oh, marvellous. So this is the top of the elevator shaft. Right, cool. So through this door should be... Whoa, God, I did not expect that to be there. A control point. Um, I'm thinking maybe... Yeah, I might do a swift uh, teleport back just to grab that helmet. In fact, no, I won't. No, nope, I'm going to head on foot just in case there's any more encounters along the way. So I don't think there are. Oh, no, this is going to result in us listening to Langston's babbling, isn't it? It's nice to have oh. someone to talk to, you know? Oh, no. Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. I should have fast-traveled. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? Yeah. I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to know brag. people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials. Oh, he's carrying day. on out here as well, isn't he? Okay, so uh, our route should take us through to Eagle Limited. But like I say, I'm going to make a brief detour back to the main office. The reason I want to go on foot is I want to also um, see if I can pick up on Artie's plant friends whilst I'm on my way. Don't. Okay, it's all right. He's behaving for now. Okay, I will push. But who it is? So anyway, like I was saying before. Oh lord. Still, I no. don't know why people are making it so personal. Brilliant. So I'm back here in the operations center, and I just realised that one of these plants was in the AWE loading bay. I, if that, oh, if that turns out to be one of the plants that I was actually looking at before, <laughs> where I said, oh, that looks, a, oh, hello, <gasps> photocopier. This is for the chain letter that we picked up. Find a copy machine. Nice. Copy the chain letter. Okay. Okay, photocopier. Can we speed it up? Right. Um. I've copied it. How many copies do I need to make? Oh, there we go. Right. So I've copied it. I picked it up. Mail three copies of the chain letter. Well, hold on. Where, where do we... Where do we mail these things? This is such a bizarre thing. I feel like this is something that should be in the the, um, the lost letters department. Right, find out what the president wants. Here we go. Jessie finds a chain letter, which she dis and she decides to mail a few copies of just to be safe. Just to be safe. Right, one in the abandoned offices, one in the... Oh, I'm going to have to do a loop around the, um, the Femoro circuit anyway, aren't I, for this letter. 
Okay, well, I know what my objective is. Uh, down through the abandoned offices to mail a letter, down to the sector head office to pick up um, our friend's helmet, and then do a loop back through to mail a letter, talk to a plant, and um, put our pal's head back on, I guess. All right. <laughs> How the hell do I get out of this place? Oh, hold on. Is this our... There is a dead plant, like, right here. You probably can't see it particularly well, but it's there in its pot. Do I have to have... Oh! Oh, that's why it didn't react. I'm thinking about the last... The last little mission, aren't I? With the plants. I think this one's different. Shine light on the plants. So we don't interact with it. Oh, I'm going to have to find a torch. Right. Where was there a torch in the operations centre? We had one. We picked it up and brought it up yonder way, didn't we? Because we had to clear the icky black stuff. Oh, it was in the supply closet down here, I think, wasn't it? Was it? I'm trying to remember now. That's not a supply closet. Torch. Where did I grab the torch? Oh, was it was in the other bathroom. Got a feeling it might have been in the other restroom over here. Yep. No, no such luck. Great. Where? <laughs> oh, no. Where am I going to find a lamp? Aha! Right, I just had to press on a little bit further. So, is this the right... There you go. Hey! Doesn't that feel better? Nice. I did notice there's another plant that's looking particularly unhealthy down this way. Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. Right. So this is filling up one of the three bars that's saying shine light on the plant. So I'm guessing there's another one in the corridor here. I don't Im immediately recall where I might have seen plant life. Although thinking about it, the we did have access to the other end of that set of stairs, didn't we? So I'm guessing we've got to uh, we've got to wander around and meet the other end of that little flight there. Oh, that's the dirty mold. Here we go. Right, so, is there a plant around here somewhere? I'm assuming there would be one around this corner somewhere? Any plants up there? In need of a bit of light? A bit of nourishment? No, it doesn't look to be any up here. None on a little ledge anywhere. No, okay. That is... Oh. <laughs> that is a dead end. Are there any in the offices? Any around the end? Oh, hello. Wait. Oh, this is where I've got to mail the letters. Cool. Quite slightly tied up. Um, taking care of... Uh, Horticultural needs, first of all. Good grief, where is this other plant? Oh, there we go. Over in the corner there, looking sorry for itself. Poor little fella. Come on, let's get you perked up. Wait. That started to fill a different part. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Oh, balls. This is a different area. This, this is classed as a different area. These are the abandoned offices. Oh, nuts. Okay. Well, let's track through the abandoned offices then. I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I think this is going to make for a thrilling video. Oh, this again. Whoa. Hold up. I, I do not remember seeing the lighting change quite that dramatically last time we were here.
Oh, hello. Is that one? That's one. Cool. So that's the second abandoned offices plant down by the service tunnel. And presumably if I go through here, I'm going to get a different place name pop up. I guess. No? Perhaps not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no amount of light will perk this fellow up, I don't think. Dirty dog's remedy. They hid it behind that wall I had to bust through. Little secret area. Okay. That's everywhere in the offices. Now I need to get back around to the other end of this corridor. Oh, God. It was over there in the corner all along. Okay. That is quite enough of that for now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to head back down to the other end of that stairwell again and get some of these letters posted off. Okay, here's a couple of the spots where we post them. Let's get the actual objective up so that we can check off how much we're actually doing mail a copy of the chain letter so there's only three that's one cent okay oh oh i see so you can choose from a selection of different places to actually do the mailing well the next one's in the observation deck and then the other one is in the um whatever that other awe was it, it was something they're rather limited so i'm gonna head back across the after all this time, you would think that I've actually realised which button exits the map, but no! I'm going to head back across the fire break and head over to um, to our man's office. Go and get our uh, our space fellow's noggin. See if he can do the, the reading stuff again. Oh, we've got to head up there, haven't we? Wonderful. Wait. Am I going to be able to get up there? No, I am not. Right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to fast travel it then. There's no way for me to actually reach that. Alright. Oh, great. <laughs> I was just about to say... Oh, hold on. Hooten. I think I saw him in the mission list. I've got a funny feeling he might be one of Irish's boys. I was just about to say... Back over to the safe side of the firebreak. You've got a strong old shield, haven't you? Not strong enough, though. Oh, bye. <laughs> See you later. All right, you're going to come up the steps. You're going to try and be clever. Go on, try and be clever. I dare you. I double dare you. Well, no, too clever for me. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? Right, don't like this. Oh, hold on, he was down there. No, getting nervous now. There he is. Come on, you. Right, something we haven't done yet. We have not yet tried out our new toy. So, what was it? Surge, wasn't it? Yeah, adhesive grenades that detonate when manually fired. All right, let's give this a try. Whoa! Jesus! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this is bad news. <laughs> Was there some more of that nice health up here? Could do with that. Oh, right. <laughs> a smidge. Well, let's try that. Press, hold on. Press right trigger to detonate that grenade. Right trigger to file a single adhesive. Press right the same button. That doesn't make sense to me. 
Come on, you. Come on. Oh. Yes, I do rather like that. You still around the corner? Oh, you still... Whoa, hold on. Where's he gone? Right, now I'm nervous. They're going to go off when I go past. Right, let's trigger those. Oh, you dog. Here he is. Come on, Ed. Come on. Where are you gone? Where are you gone? Come on. Come on. Follow me. Chase me. All right, let's. What's that? Oh, the red flash is him regenerating his shield. Surprise. Oh, he didn't like that. some more. <laughs> I did enjoy that. And I do enjoy this. Very much so. <laughs> okay. Back to the matter at hand. So, back into Kirkland. Yes, this is it. I knew it. A helmet. Nice. A head. Is that what the prisoner meant? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I kind of staked this entire trek on it, Jesse, so I sincerely hope so. Right, whilst we're here, let's take a look at the other objectives. What was situated in this office? Uh, was there something else for me to chase down here? Let's see, missions. Uh, right, what have you got for us, Artie? So we need to nourish the plants. No, the last plant, I think, was in one of the... Yeah, it's in the EWE loading bay, so that's fine. We don't need that. Um, what about the letters? Uh, return to sender. Nope, that's observation deck and the other AWE. I'm sure we had something else here. One last thing. Shine light on the plant. Eradicate the mold. Was that over here? No, that was there. Oh, great. Okay, I'll just head back. I'll t <laughs> I'll just hang my head in shame and head back over to the other side and just, just carry on regardless. Right. Back through to the loading bay. Uh, we can apparently... Here we go. Send all those letters off. Two down, one to go. Ooh. And then head back e through the gloop. Nice. Past here. Oh, this takes us to... Wait, hold on. Where's this going? It's taking us back to the turntable. Okay, they all turned around. Lower access, here we go. So in lower access... This is still just as dark as when I left it. Oh no, we're okay. Lower access, there's a thing as well, I believe. No, there isn't. Oh, it's AWE loading bay I need to head to. AWE loading bay next. Give our planty friends a little bit of uh, love and encouragement. Um, now is... Aha! That's one. Is it three to do in here again? Looks like it. That's filled the bar up by about a third. Right, let's see. Let's start high. And work our way down. Are there any plants along here? No. Up on those shelves would be an inconvenient place to put a plant, but um, wouldn't put it past these uh, curious bureau types. Let's see. Nope, nothing else around here. Here, perhaps? Hello, there's one. Two bright and happy plants. Let's see if we can't grab a third. Where would they be? Aha, there it is. You can see it already. Here you are, my little, little lovely leafy Here's friend. some sunshine to brighten your day. It's artificial, though. <laughs> Launch efficiency. How does that work? 
And that's the last one. I should oh. appoint someone to take care of these guys. <laughs> Supervisor of Houseplant Wellbeing. That's got Langston written all over it. All right. Uh, so next, I just need to advance back through to the Lunar Lander Hall and um, reunite our buddy with his head. Right, let's hope our otherworldly chum, um, well, first of all, appreciates the gesture of us reuniting us, uh, reuniting him with his head. Uh, oh, I see. That's what the service hatch is for. I did wonder. But also, um, hopefully he won't turn on us as soon as he's got it. River Chicken Station. <laughs> oh, far tastier. Press any button? Um, sure. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes, snug and grape, pure grapes. Hail a lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. <laughs> He's long around. But no doubt's an happiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we help this guy. I think. Best we leave it locked up, though. We have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. Yeah, as chirpy as he sounds, um, no goldfish and all that, um, yeah, we, we don't know what he's capable of, but, um, <laughs> I'll be sure to pass the chief gerbil his regards if I ever see him. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. And next time, we are going to head west, cross active investigations into the... Oh, the whatever it was limited AWE, I forget now. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see exactly what this is. Is this all about the study of some paranatural terrorist organization like we've seen hints of before? But until then, if you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, uh, pop those down below. Oh, but I did actually get up to that gantry, by the way. And uh, when I got up there, there was absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, really dull. So <laughs> I cut that bit out. But uh, yeah, if you'd like to leave a like or you can leave a comment, whack them down below. Would be great to see you over in the Discord and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.